Google Voyages on his response to me. says, Now there is neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, slave nor free, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen. But it is your religion who is against the blacks, because the very first black person in Islam was a person who yelled the prayer every morning. He had to get up and do the call for prayer. And Muhammad said, If you convert to Islam, you will set, he will set you free. Years later, he was not being set free, and they still wouldn't let, set him free until his death. This is how evil they were. Okay, so the issue why I brought up looking at Islamic countries is because you brought up looking at America and saying that this is Christianity. Saying because America allows gays and allows people to drink, that this is somehow what Christianity promotes. And so I was, do you see your hypocrisy? You're saying, oh, well, you can't look at Islamic countries to judge Islam. I agree, you shouldn't. You should look at what our books say. You should look at what the Bible teaches and what the Quran teaches and judge a religion based on that, not based on their followers. However, you're saying, okay, well, because of New, it took New Orleans a while to get it repaired, that this is somehow a slight against Christianity or whatever you meant by that, that is utterly ridiculous. In America, they have separation of church and state because the Europeans settled in America having that so that people could follow Christianity in its purest form because of the corruption that happened to the Church of England, to the Catholic Church, because of intermingling politics with faith. It always The politics will always corrupt the faith. And so therefore, um, when we're judging it, we should look at what it teaches. And this is why I gave the examples of the, um, the slave that Muhammad had and what Christianity teaches about this. Uh, let's go to part two. Okay, let's look at a few laws that Muhammad broke. Your Quran teaches that you can only have four wives. Muhammad had 13 wives. Um, a moral law that he broke, or actually that your God Allah breaks, is that you can beat your wife when they are disobedient, as 4 verse 34 says. Treating an, a woman as if she's a donkey, as if she's your property, that you could just beat her. In fact, when little Aisha tried to run away from Muhammad's house, he struck her. As the, set, as the hadith I gave you in the first video, and beat her, causing her great pain. A little girl he beat? Very immoral. Uh, chapter 65, verse 4 of the Quran teaches you how to divorce little girls who haven't had their period yet. That is immoral. That is disgusting. That is filthy. And I gave you examples from the Bible teaching that that is immoral, and that people who do such a thing will not enter the kingdom of heaven. There are examples where Muhammad instigated wars against the pagans in Rome and then ran to the prince of Ethubia, a Christian prince, from what they did. Where, he, where in one day he killed over 600 Jews. Another day where he slaughtered a Jewish family and killed her, uh, this woman's mother, daughters, or sorry, this mother, her mother, her father, her brothers and her sisters, and then raped her in front of their dead bodies. You gave me typical Christian rhetoric. This is this transparent, this glass. This is all your religion has to offer. Rhetoric. I grew up a Southern Baptist. Don't feed me rhetoric. Right, I am. 
answered all your points about the Bible, showing that you have misunderstood it in every facet. I know it when I see it. I asked you to give me a moral or secular law that the Prophet Muhammad broke. You couldn't do it. All you could do is talk about the relations that a man had with his wife. Yeah. That was your video. Your video was entitled The Young Age of Aisha. So I was responding to the content of your video. You could not give me any biblical verse or legal edit of his time that made it wrong. All you gave me was your own opinion, which means you worship yourself. Not what? I gave you the verse out of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verses 9 and 10, saying how the sexually immoral will not enter the kingdom of heaven. I gave you where Christ said that anybody who um, harms these little ones, it would be better if they had a milestone tied around their neck and they were tossed in the ocean. I also just recently have given you Genesis 24 and verse 15, talking about how the tribal people who didn't even have the law, this was before the law of Moses, knew that it was wrong to molest little girls. Your religion is filth. It is garbage. Stop trying to promote it. Go and live in Islamic countries if you don't like America. We don't want you here. I die. You know, even your own Bible, which I do not believe is the word of God, it talks about men who become worshippers of themselves. And you're worshipping your own opinion because you have not given any specific biblical verse that prohibits well, I don't know. I guess you didn't watch my video, and you made a response to nothing, because I gave you plenty of sources from my Bible. This isn't my book. This is the book of God. I'm not giving my opinion. I'm telling you what it said. You want your opinion. You don't want us to judge Muhammad by modern laws. I said, okay, great. So I'm going to judge him, your supposed prophet of God, by what my God has to say, and we'll see if he's a prophet or not. He failed. There are verses that prohibit homosexuality even though you have gay churches. No gay match if you deny. Search it. Right, here's the funny thing. These people, gay churches, and does that mean that they're Christian? Absolutely not. Jesus warned us against false prophets and false teachers. So, if there's gay Muslims, which there are plenty, if you go to alfatia.com, the first chapter of the Quran is the biggest gay and lesbian organization in the world. And they claim to be Muslim. Does that mean Islam promotes that? So you're judging it by what people say. Let's judge by what our books say. And here's the funny thing. The punishment for adultery in Islam between a heterosexual male and female is to stone them to death. The punishment in Islam for a homosexual um, relationship is to tell them to repent and warn them and there's no punishment on them. Isn't that funny? Bible specifically prohibits it. I'll give you that. Uh, right, so they're not Christian if they engage in that. Duh. Just like if um, a Muslim doesn't beat his wife who's not being disobedient, means they're not following Islam. Christians don't follow their Bible. If the Christians follow their Bible, then they would be following Luke. Uh, Sorry, what I meant to say by that is if a Muslim doesn't beat their wife when she's being disobedient, it means they're not following Islam. I hate all non-Christians? What a load of rubbish that is. What a bunch of garbage. Jesus told you to to love even your enemy. What are you talking about, man? It's your religion that teaches and 929 of the Quran to fight those who do not believe in Allah, nor his messenger, nor the last day. 551 and 328 says you can't be my friend just because I'm a Christian. It's your religion that teaches to hate me, not mine. Luke 
1426, who cares what Jesus looked like? Whether he was brown, black, or white, or Chinese. It's what he did for us, and what he said that we care about. It doesn't matter what he looked like. He is Lord. You, you're the one who wants to make a Jesus in 